she from the west side. Let's go, let's go, Domingo, let's go, Domingo. tape, let's go, set, let's roll, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, yeah, straight, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, yeah, don't not get straightened, but straighten it, don't not get straightened, but straighten it, don't not get straightened, but straighten it, straight, you don't get shit straight, you don't straighten it, in this game, sit back, be patient, gang, niggas act like the game went vacant, huh? niggas act like some been taken, what, ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening, I'm taking been kicking shit, popping out daily, go, on the island, it's a movie I'm making, that's what's up you guys and welcome to the start of another vlog the girl just got done wrapping up some major deliverables i'm so happy with myself for the fact that i was able to push out quality content in record timing um it's only 5 p.m so we love that still have another reel that i need to film today along with a youtube video that i have to submit to a brand so the day isn't over but i am going to give myself a break because as you can see your girl is a little mellow and that's because i am tired i just filmed a little tiktok too of me trying out these beauty supply scarves so if you want to see how not how i achieve this but why i'm doing this then definitely go follow me on my tiktok to keep it short you guys will be seeing me covering my hair for some time now hopefully for the long run because i am practicing wearing the hijab that is one of my 2023 goals so pray for me keep me in your duas and hopefully we can keep this going but yeah <laughs> i didn't want to make it a big deal on here but if you guys want like a video explaining how I got to this point and why I'm doing this I would be happy to give you guys like a full explanation but yeah I love this scarf. I really, really do love this scarf. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a break, clean up my disastrous room, and then I'm going to check in with you guys later. What's up, you guys? So I'm about to drink me a little Malta. I just made it home from running some errands with my mom and my cousin. Um, I didn't get to rest like I told y'all I was going to. I literally, as soon as I was done cleaning my room, we had to head out. So... Now I'm back and didn't get to do the last TikTok or submit the video that I was supposed to submit, but I think tomorrow I will have the time. I didn't actually tell y'all, but tomorrow I scheduled, or tomorrow I have my 200K photo shoot. Yes, your girl scheduled a 200K photo shoot because baby, it's long overdue, okay? I think the work that it took me to get to 200K was far worse, and harder than it was to get to 100k so i'm definitely celebrating i have a photo shoot planned for tomorrow um literally one of my dresses i haven't even tried on everything is very last minute so i just pray that the results like i just pray that creative to me what pops out tomorrow and the photographer is great and that the results are just great because if you want me to be honest with y'all i barely have a creative <coughs> a creative brief for this like i'm really just like I was just winging it with a photo shoot tomorrow with a photographer I've never taken pictures with before. So <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. I'm definitely going to bring you guys with me. It does. So y'all can see how the photo shoot goes. And yeah, I have a feeling that sometime in this vlog, we're going to hit 200K. Just the feeling, you know, because right now we're at 199,734. I just have a feeling because every single day it's been going up by like a hundred and some change. So my prediction is that by it's Wednesday today, tomorrow, by Saturday, we're going to be a 200k channel. <laughs> um, we'll see though. I could be wrong, but my prediction is Saturday. Before you keep continuing watching, don't even look at the title, okay? Don't watch any longer. Comment down below what day you think I'm going to hit 200k um but yeah this is a weekly vlog so i'm gonna be vlogging for the rest of the week so we're gonna hit it at some point just guess which day you think is gonna happen so <coughs> yeah let me drink this more because my throat oh i just love me a malt like that but yeah i have to go iron my dress and research some makeup looks so that i have an idea of how i'm gonna do my makeup tomorrow yeah basically just prep myself for this shoot tomorrow i have no balloons no props, 
know nothing. I'm really just winging it, guys. You guys will see how this unfolds tomorrow. I'm also gonna make sure to finish all the work that I wasn't able to do today, tomorrow as well. I'm on my cycle right now, so your girl is suffering on the low. <clears throat> so it was even amazing that I was able to do what I did today because first day, I should be in bed right now. But I pushed through, so I'm proud of myself. Inshallah, tomorrow will not be any more devastating than today was. But yeah, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. A little bit of a chaotic morning, but we are finally on the road. Um, this morning, I woke up super early because I had to... <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is still doing me somehow but i woke up super early because i had to submit the video that i was telling you guys about yesterday so i have a problem why am i racing myself with my words okay let me start over what's up you guys this morning i submitted the video that i was telling you guys about i'm so proud of how it came out um if you're wondering what video it is it's my morning routine it's basically like a guide to waking up early so like some tips and steps that have been helping me wake up early all compiled in a video so proud of how it came out because i genuinely like it was a point of reflection for me like wow like, look at how far you've come that you've mastered this and you're able to teach other people to do it like that's how you know you're really good at something so i'm super happy with how the video turned out if you haven't already make sure you go check it out if you are someone that is trying to become a morning person i will highly suggest that you watch that video because there are some really helpful tips in there but submitted that video edited a tiktok posted the tiktok did my makeup this is the first time guys this is the first time i have done a beat beat because y'all know i do like no foundation makeup looks every day but like this is the first time i've done a beat down in a long time and i'm gonna be honest with y'all i didn't know i still had it in me I really was concerned like am I gonna be able to do this like you haven't like beat your face in a long time but I proved myself wrong like always I've never done photo shoot makeup before so I don't know if this will be appropriate for the camera but at least in reality shot it looks amazing like my face looks like porcelain don't even look real so we love that you guys want to see a tutorial would love to do that i haven't done one of those on here in a long time but i would definitely be happy to give y'all that because y'all know i mess with y'all a lot right now i am a little bit behind time i'm heading to party city because i need to get 200k balloons um so the two zero zero and the k but yeah i'm on my way to party city because i have to go blow those up and then right after that i have to zoom to the other side of town to go to this studio for these pictures like i said i've never worked with this photographer before so i hope like everything goes well one thing about me i don't know how to pose and y'all gonna be like to me like you're an influencer what do you mean you don't know how to pose first of all i don't like that word second of all i'm a content creator okay i can create content i'll give you a good ass video but you want me to pose for a picture and act like a model that's a different job description don't know how to pose i also have like a really baby face so every time i try to look like mysterious and sultry like it just doesn't give that it just gives like a smile just smile and like i want some smile pictures but i also want some like you know the sultry like smizing type so i don't know i feel like when my face it's so funny because i feel like when my face is like normal like expressionless i feel like i look like i'm smiling still because of my cheeks but contrary to that people outside will tell me i look like i'm frowning like they'll tell me i look mean like i i have like rbf and i don't i don't think i look mean i think i look very approachable let me check the subscriber count for today because i need to keep my eye on this before it just hits out of nowhere this morning we are at 199,792k i really am sticking to my prediction that saturday is going to be the day it's not too late to put your guesstimation in. What day do you think I'm gonna hit 200K? I can't wait to hit it because then I can tell you guys about the giveaway details and I'm really happy with what I've come up with. I think it's very, it's perfect. It's perfect, it's what it needs to be and there are multiple winners, which we love. I did not mean to put on a very cute outfit, but that's what I love about like practicing wearing hijab. Like I get to like experiment and each day I really just be throwing stuff on and I'm either like, wait this is really cute or I'm like wait this is really ugly so like it's like practice it's like learning how to dress again which is really really cool I'm gonna see you guys either when we get to party city or the photo shoot 
So I got my balloons, as you guys can see. The reason why they're not floating is because they had absolutely no helium at the Party City location I went to. It was the closest one to me, so I really had no other choice but to get them not blown up. I just got some tape in hope that maybe we can like stick them to the backdrop or something, child. I do not know. But um, the lady was also taking a really long time, which wasn't great but we have a little bit of time to spare so I'm gonna try and go to Publix and see if I can get like a cute little round cake to make the shoot a little more you know just a little more celebratory so hopefully this Publix is able to come through for me because right now I'm like dang like am I gonna have to hold my balloons like that's not fun <laughs> yeah so now I'm heading to Publix after Publix I'm going to head straight to my photo shoot um and yeah by the way guys like I don't have a card mount I literally just use my handheld tripod and I stick it on my dashboard um I think because I have this little car play screen in my car i'm able to like sit it up on there so for those of you who are always wondering like where i get my car mount i don't have a car mount fun fact so yeah i'll see you guys once we get to the shoot I just made it on my shoe. I low key didn't have gas, and it wasn't until I got to the photo shoot till I realized like you are literally driving on E. Like I had 12 miles in here, and I'm waiting for it to load because it's not 12 miles anymore. Why is it still saying 12 miles? Maybe I need to start driving for it to change. But <clears throat> yeah, my shoot. First of all. The photographer, Will, absolutely amazing. He is talent if I've ever seen talent. And I knew it right when I saw his Instagram that he was gonna give me what I wanted. Like he was gonna be able to bring the concept to life. But like when I got there and saw the setup and saw his commitment and the vision, I was like, baby, this is bigger than me. Every single detail of this shoot came together perfectly. I literally went to the beauty supply yesterday, not for the shoot, but just out of, you know, pure curiosity to see what they had there. And one of the scarves I got from the beauty supply is literally what I ended up using. And the second set with the champagne dress, everything feels like it happens by like chance, like happenstance, but no, this is God, okay? God is the creator of creatives and he put his stamp of approval on my shoot today. Listen, the pictures, look oh my god don't mind the lighting but the pictures look like they came out of a magazine let me turn this up why is it messing up my shot like this guys this shoot i'm not ready so i know y'all are not ready i feel like this shoot marks the start of a new era like this is definitely me walking into like my grown woman era like she has her stuff together 
don't tell me there's a gate here where the heck is this gps taking me no because i'm scared okay this is actually a road so yeah she is walking into her era of fulfillment that's not the theme of this year though i had another word in mind but i completely forgot i think it's god consciousness i think the theme of my 24 is god consciousness more than anything because i've had more awareness of him now than ever and like i just owe it all to him like every single thing that happens to me i'm like this is god and it's for a reason that is bigger than me and it's for my betterment I told y'all i haven't eaten all day for this shoot it's about to be 4 p.m i still haven't eaten so i'm gonna go to veil i haven't been to veil in a long time but since i'm in this area i'm like let me just get some veil if you don't know what veil is it's this um this food spot this healthy food spot here in jacksonville and they um just have like a bunch of like really cool healthy food options so i'm gonna go in there grab a bite to eat oh my god guys i literally went to the youtube studio app because like i'm low-key addicted to the app and it's not healthy how many times i drink it but we are less than 200 subscribers away from 200 yeah it's literally one night we're at 199 810 so 1000 100 199 hundred 199 199,810 subscribers guys i'm not good at math so please don't judge me i think we have 190 because if you add 90 to the 10 that's 100 and the one 190 away i thought we was gonna hit this on saturday yeah we might hit this tomorrow i just want to make sure that i capture it on camera because like this is such a big moment for me like i said the journey to 200K has been, like, okay, the journey from 100K to 200K has been more vigorous than the journey from zero subscribers to 100K. Like, when I tell you, I don't know if this is, like, a normal thing for YouTubers, but to get to that 200K feels like a journey of a thousand years i'm exaggerating but it was a lot it was a lot it took a lot of growth out of me to get here like it wasn't just a matter of like being viral and i think that's what helped me the first time around like i had a lot of viral content youtube was very new at the time so there was a lot less you know black creators to begin with when i started out on top of that i was like in my niche bag like i was doing a lot of content that people were craving at the time because it was very fresh and new and there wasn't a lot of it on there. Oh my God, no way. There's a kava here. No freaking way. Just when I thought I was getting veil, baby, I'm getting kava. What the heck? No, the way this city keeps switching on me is not okay. There's literally a kava here. Maybe I just haven't been here in a long time, but this used to be a Chipotle and they changed it to a kava. Um, this is the river. I don't know the name of this. Place, to be honest brook brooklyn station brookside station something like that riverside brooklyn station guys i don't know my city that well i like to stay home i don't go anywhere point i'm trying to make is that we're gonna hit 200k really soon and i'm scared but i'm so excited and i welcome it and embrace it with big arms but like i just wasn't expecting it to happen like this i will embrace the change and oh my god on to bigger and better things <laughs> Don't know what that was about, but what is up, you guys? Your girl is back. It's the next day, and your girl just got done filming a reel. I've had a pretty chill day so far, so I haven't really had a reason to pull out my camera. Um, I went to the gym earlier, chef's kiss, workout, 
came home, had an even better therapy session. My therapist had the most beautiful words to exchange with me today. And honestly, like, it's just been surreal to see how much growth I have had in just the past year alone. Shout out to her. She's an amazing woman. And I will continue to see her for as long as I am allowed to because she is just a light. But yeah, my call with her went really great. Right after the call, got dressed, just filmed the reel that I was telling you guys about. It's low-key due today. I don't know what is with me in submitting content, literally creating it and submitting it on the day that it's due. But like I said, like when it comes to these reels, like you really have a little bit of flexibility if you know what you're doing. I am a pioneer in this. So, well, not in the reels, but in everything else. So it kind of transfers. So I know what I'm doing. I just need to put the clips together basically and film the voiceover part of the reel and submit it to the brand. That shouldn't take me more than like... 45 minutes but y'all last time I checked we had hit a hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and twelve which means we're less than a hundred away from 200k subscribers my guesstimate was that we were gonna hit it on Saturday right I'm gonna check it right now because I'm really afraid that while I was away we might have gotten closer okay so let me put this camera up real quick so I can show you guys. We are 60 subscribers away. <laughs> if you are seeking something, if there is a desire in your heart that is so big, timing is everything. First of all, God's plan, number one, because it has to be written in his plan. But second off, it's the timing because I wanted this to happen so many other times before October of last year, December of last year, years before last year, I was hoping to hit 200K. And just the fact that I have done so little in January, but it's like, it's just been coming to me. And like, I guess it feels like I've done little because I am kind of on autopilot with this whole content creation thing, which I can only thank God for, honestly, because uh, I struggled with consistency on here for the longest time. But really, now I have just found my flow and I'm just rocking with it. And that's why it's so jumping from point to point but i have so many points to make guys it's so important to find what's sustainable for you the gurus may say you need to post three times a week the experts may say you need to post seven times a week like do what works for you and stick to it because if you keep hip-hopping from what one expert says to another expert, like you will never see the full result of what any of them are saying so if you can just find a system and stick to it no matter what happens you will see results for the longest time i have made the promise to myself that like every single week no matter what i will upload whether it's a short youtube video don't matter i have to upload every single week on my youtube channel and it's clearly paying off because now it doesn't even feel like work anymore because i know there's no week that will come that i will not put something out and now that my efforts have naturally turned into this autopilot behavior of mine it feels like my goals are just coming to me we're gonna hit 200k tonight inshallah we're gonna hit 200k tonight and i don't know if i'm ready like <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be later on in the nighttime, maybe around like 10 p.m., close to midnight, but I predict that we're gonna hit it tonight. Heavy on turning that fan on. I'm reading comments on the video I just dropped. I just dropped my morning routine, which so many of you guys are loving it, and I'm so happy that y'all are loving it because I put my heart into that video. Surprisingly enough, this was one of the easiest videos for me to edit, and I think it's because it came natural to me. Like, these are things that I have tested and tried in my own life and i just put it into a video and i was so happy to do that for you guys and the fact that y'all are responding so well is making me so happy so thank you so much if you haven't already make sure to go watch my 6 a.m morning routine there are a lot of tips in there on how to wake up early if you are not a morning person i feel like i've said this in this vlog already but I'm just emphasizing it more for you guys because it is a really resourceful, informative, and captivating video. So yeah, now I'm going to edit. It's Friday night, so your girl is kind of craving pizza. There's actually this pizza place here in Jack's. And if I'm able to get my work done early enough, we might have to go there. Because, baby, I'm celebrating 200k before it even gets here. Listen, we had the photo shoot. Now we're going to get pizza. Like, I'm going to have a good time because I already know my blessings are coming to me. Like, hello. <laughs> oh, my God. Cute. 
sorry y'all i'm getting distracted but yeah guys just thought i'd check in also this look is super cute edges are already sweating out but hey we love a good spa aesthetic i'm gonna catch up with you guys later all right y'all i don't know why my camera maybe because it's dark what's going on this lighting is ugly so i'm on my way to get my pizza well our pizza i got pizza for the whole house um i think i told y'all i'm going to get pizza i've been horrible at this vlogging thing i'm so sorry guys if it feels like it's all over the place but truth is i did not anticipate filming this vlog so early i knew i was gonna do a vlog for like the days leading up to 200k i just had no idea that it was gonna come this fast i actually originally had this vlog scheduled for february because um i had like this little predictor website that was telling me that like the prediction was that i was gonna hit 200k in february so i had this video scheduled for february did not expect to be vlogging this week but like what is a vlog like it's not really much other than me just recording what i'm already doing but yeah i do apologize if it's like all over the place but yeah i'm also probably repeating myself a lot because i don't remember if i said something already or not <laughs> but i'm on my way to get pizza oh my god there's a cop in front of me anyways so i'm on my way to get pizza at this place called halal pizza and grocery if you live in jacksonville and you want to support a muslim owned business then definitely check them out they have the best halal pepperoni pizza ever um this time i ordered their meat lovers pizza because i want to see what that's like they also have like calzones and wings and stuff i've only tried their halal pepperoni pizza though so i'm gonna have to try all that other stuff another time and let you guys know what i think about it but i'm going to stop talking because i hate the way this lighting is so inconsistent so i'm gonna check in with you guys once we have something a little more interesting going on because everything as of right now has been very boring i feel like there haven't been any like aesthetics in this vlog like it's just been me talking y'all's heads off and i'm so sorry it was not my intention to just talk for an entire vlog and i have a feeling this is gonna be a long vlog too i'm so sorry guys i wanted to show y'all something interesting but stay tuned still a reason to stay tuned oh my god why is it stay tuned still because you have yet to hear the giveaway or what the giveaway is and what the giveaway rules are and what the details are so stay tuned so your girl can tell you what the giveaway is going to be about how i'm choosing the winners and what the prizes are going to be so on that note I'll see y'all later. If you derive your sense of identity from being a victim, let's say bad things were done to you when you were a child. You never see a mama sprung out while you study division. Your uncle ever stole from me day after Christmas. Two of both of those in a tiny girl business. The first and the fifteenth, the only religion. Moves in the microwave, shark tank, tight away. Grandma shooting niggas blood on the highway. Cross on the dashboard, you just want a platform. I want to take everything that I asked for. Catch me a body, I put that on anybody but my mama. She shows on the pattern for certain, I think it's my panties and then I'm fine. Four slices of pizza later. And your girl is battling the itis. I don't want to fall asleep because I know I'm going to hit 200k soon. I'm so excited. And the thing is, when I see it, all I'm going to do is scream and then go to sleep. <laughs> so it's like why don't you just go to sleep so you maybe you can scream tomorrow but the thing is i know myself i'm not gonna go to sleep or at least i'm not gonna fall asleep i'll get in bed like i'll do everything i need to do and i will not fall asleep because i know that this milestone is coming let's go see where i'm at first though okay oops my bed okay so I'm on my laptop, I'm about to check. <laughs> yeah. We are so close. <sighs> what do I do? I should probably take off my makeup. Why does my camera keep, it's like not focusing. Hold on y'all. Okay, so I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Truth is, I don't know how to use my camera, so I don't even know what setting to click to make it stop doing whatever it's doing. 
but um yeah one thousand y'all i don't know how to describe or name six digit numbers so that's why i struggle every time i try to say it on this vlog but right now we're at a hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and eighty six hundred is it hundred we're 14 subscribers away okay because i know it's 14 of y'all who are watching this right now and are probably not subscribed go subscribe even though i probably would have hit it by the time i dropped this vlog go subscribe <laughs> y'all i'm so impatient okay i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go do my skincare i'm gonna change into my pjs and then i'm gonna come back check on the, what i'm scared i want to see it go from like 99 to 200,000. i'm scared i'm gonna miss that i'm gonna take the risk i'm gonna go do my skincare get ready for bed and i'm gonna come back and see what this is Gabri Cattis So I just finished doing my skincare. I low-key really want to sleep. I have a feeling I hit it though. I've been having a feeling I hit it all day though, and I still hadn't hit it. But right now it is 10:23. And I think I hit it. If I didn't hit it. I swear on everything I'm going to bed because I cannot stay up another second. Okay, y'all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see. Oh man. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll probably get up in like an hour to see if we hit that magical number, but I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. On when we're at 200k support. What? <laughs> when we're at 200k subscribers. So for now, I am tapping out. So I just left my ice skating class. Today is Saturday, and we did in fact hit 200,000 subscribers today. Um, last night I was up till midnight trying to see if we were gonna hit that special number, and YouTube was playing with me. Or at least some of y'all in my subscriptions were playing with me because it was jumping from 99 to 97 to 98. Like it just kept jumping. So at one point I said, I give up. I am going to bed. So I went to bed. But alhamdulillah, I woke up. 200K, you know, not a big deal, nothing crazy. Um, I've only been crying all freaking morning. I've been holding back tears all day. I've been letting out tears, holding back tears. Like it's just been an emotional roller coaster today because like, wow. It is such a rewarding feeling to say you're gonna do something and then you finally do it. Especially when it takes you long to do it. Cause if you've been here for a while, then you know I hit 100K a while ago. Let me get off this highway so I y'all are able to hear me properly. I'm off the highway. What I was trying to say is that there is just something so, so, so special about setting an intention, setting a goal, putting your heart, everything into it, praying about it, and seeing it come into fruition. It's kind of like saying, hey, I want to lose 50 pounds. And then you lose that 50 pounds, you know? And it's even more special when it takes a long time those of you who've been here for a while you know 100k was not this hard getting 100k was not this hard it took me three years freshly on youtube times back then were a lot it was a lot easier to grow um in my opinion back then i found it a lot easier back then versus now considering that it basically almost took me five years to get from 100k to 200k it was definitely easier at the start of my youtube journey to get that growth so being here today and seeing that number is a big deal i've been crying since morning because god has really just shown me that he 
has my back and all I need to do is ask and all I need to do is show up consistently and he will give it to me so I am about to get emotional again don't really want to start crying because my face is beat I just want to say thank you so much to every single one of you who has shown support to me in any kind of way up until this point your views your comments your subscriptions your likes every single thing adds up to something every single one of you has added up to this point and i am just so filled with love right now it low-key feels like my birthday all over again so thank you guys so much i hope this serves as encouragement for y'all and inspiration for those of y'all who are seeking this same type of growth just know nothing worth having comes easy i had like a whole speech planned but honestly every time i start reminiscing and thinking too much like i just start wanting to cry and i i did not want to come on this video and cry to y'all today i'm sorry y'all already know where i'm at <laughs> y'all already know who it is yeah y'all already know where i'm at mogi t i'm gonna go get my boba tea i'm gonna be right back I got my boba. Got me a little Yuji matcha. I actually planned on getting the Yuji matcha creme brulee, but I forgot. I was flustered, so I got the Yuji matcha, which is good too. I just wish it had creme brulee in it. This is not about boba. This is about the giveaway details. So basically, I am going to be choosing three winners for the 200k giveaway. We're gonna do things a little differently because I want to give everyone a chance, but I also want to highlight the people who have really been showing out for me for quite some time. So the number one prize is going to be brand new iPad Air. I haven't shown y'all yet, but I also got myself an iPad Air, kind of like a late birthday present slash 200K gift slash just because gift. So I'm gonna be getting that for one of you. The second gift is going to be a bundle of my favorite skincare products. And the last giveaway winner is going to be a bundle of my favorite makeup essentials. You guys should be seeing them on the screen. Now, the way I'm gonna choose them is gonna be a little strange, but I promise it makes sense. So winners number two, two and three will be drawn from random. So I'm literally gonna go into the comment section and use some kind of website to help me draw somebody from there. Now for giveaway number one, the stakes are a bit higher. We are obviously giving away a very expensive gift, so we can't just give it away to anybody. As of right now, I have about four to five people in mind already who I want to give this iPad to because for the longest, they have just shown me so much love, how much they show out, how much they repost, how much they reach out to me. We exchange DMs, how much I know about them, like friendships I've built with some of you guys. So I want to highlight those people. One of you will be getting this iPad. Now, for those of you who want the iPad but may not have been showing out up until this point, you still have a chance at getting this iPad as well. There are three weeks from now until the time that I will be choosing the winner. So there is a chance for basically anybody to win the iPad but as of this moment I do have some of y'all in my head and I don't want to say your names but I feel like if you know you know because you obviously know whether you've been engaging with my content to be eligible for any of these gifts you of course have to be subscribed to my YouTube following me on my Instagram and following me on my TikTok as well for every single one of these prizes I will be checking to make sure that you are following me on all of my platforms the second thing you have to do is comment down below in the description box and let me know why or what what brought you here I'm actually very curious to know what was it about my channel about my content about my personality that made you hit subscribe in the first place so let me know in the comment section below I'm very curious to know why you guys watch me because sometimes I'll be wondering myself like I can't even sit through this like somebody else sitting through this that's crazy so all you have to do is comment why you watch my channel as well as your Instagram handle and your TikTok down below and the winner will be chosen in three weeks I'm gonna have the date on the screen but basically yeah guys that is the giveaway let me know what y'all think do you think I ate with this giveaway or not I think I did so three weeks from today the winner will be chosen I will be announcing it in my video 
not in the comment section of any video so with that being said if any of y'all receive any weird replies in the comment section from channels that look like mine but have weird names those have absolutely nothing to do with my giveaway I do not have telegram those people are trying to scam you so please be mindful of anyone who is commenting about any sort of giveaway once you win you will be receiving a DM from my personal account just wanted to clarify because the scam bots have been doing a number on my channel lead so please be mindful of anyone responding to your comments always double check the name click on the channel if you need to if it doesn't bring you back to my very channel then it is a scam so yeah those are the giveaway details thank you so much for watching this video up until this point I hope you enjoyed it and good luck to everyone who enters I'm gonna go drink this boba enjoy the rest of my day I will see you guys in my next video bye guys